want to try to, you know that thing that they do in the movie all the time, the that note? <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions YouTube so I'm, I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, for more juicy content. Thanks on so Patreon, phone, Twitter, Carpe, Develop, Publication, Squad, Bang! That's the problem. You only have water and coffee over there, huh? Follow us on our personal YouTube channels, links in the description below. You need some Jameson or Maybe. some rum or something. Maybe. But today, you little, you little stupids, uh, we are doing a movie review. Yes, you were supposed to watch a film. Uh, That's so old. I've done that so many times. It's, I guess, technically a classic. It's old enough, right? Yeah, I think technically it falls into that category um, as being a classic. And we've it's heard some five years old songs from it. It's from 1992. It's a Tamil film, which it was incredibly difficult to find the Tamil version, which is ridiculous. Uh, you did it. Yeah. Um, the Amazon, for some reason, has the Telugu version. And you guys know our, our opinions on dubbing. We... You can, if you like dubbing, that's fine. We think even, even though we read the subs, whenever we look up at the face, the mouth is not matching the emotion of the face with the talking or the movement of the mouth. We don't like it. Yeah. Um, Takes away the believability and the honoring of the original language. Yes. But, uh, so, what was that? We are reviewing Roger. R Roger. Roger. Who is a distant cousin of Scott Sterling. Uh, the first installment of, uh, hold on. Is your house taking off? Yes, it's actually the, the first installment of the techni technically they say it's a trilogy. They're not related in They're any not, way, no. shape, or form except for I guess terrorism. I guess. Well, I, I, yeah, that's the, the same way with the, the trilogy for uh, Vishal and his Shakespeare stuff. They're oh, only yeah. related because they're Shakespeare. They that's have no true. connection to each other. But we watched it backwards. Yes, <laughs> from the end. To the beginning, actually. Yes. Yeah, we didn't know. It's really interesting. And when we watched this backward, it actually becomes Lagan. It was weird. Very strange. But it's uh, Mani Ratnam is the director and writer, uh, as well as the other ones. And uh, Ayo Rahman did the score. And starring um, Arvan Swami and as Roja Madhu. And? And, of course... Uh, Pankaj Kapoor, which is Shahid Kapoor's father, uh, which he's quite a good actor. Mm -hmm. I like him. I do too. Um, even though he's not the star of this, I just, I like him. I want to explore him more. So go ahead and let me know what his next film should be. Because he's actually like himself a star. Like, yeah. He's, he was, he's a thespian. We've seen him in just a few things. Yep. But I think he's a fantastic actor. But anyways, Hunter Spence Horror Review uh, came out in 1992. Yeah. I'm sure you've all seen it, just like Bombay. So if you haven't, you're, you're a weird Indian. Yep. I mean, you, you just got to go see it. Yep. Uh, but and anyways. then come back and watch the review yes. because we're just going to spoil throughout. Rick, your um, initial thoughts. Um, I don't think they, I don't think people set out to make a bad film. You know what I mean? I, I, I just didn't like it very much. There was a lot of stuff about it I didn't, I didn't like. There's some things I liked. But for the most part, I just left it with, eh, I had more problems with it than I did really. Things I liked. Yeah. I liked it. Um, I liked it almost equally. It's a, it's a different film than Bombay. Very. That's, that's what I'm, because so, because like, one's like a more love story, much more love story. This is much more, the, the first part's obviously the love story and then it goes to the um, terrorism hostage situation. Um, but I, I enjoyed the film, and I, I, I just as much I think as as I did uh, Bombay. I now that I've seen the three, they'll say is definitely the weakest of the bunch. Um, even though I still enjoyed and, it, and, and I, I agree with that assessment. Well, yeah, I think you. <laughs> I would assume so. You didn't have anything yeah. nice to say about Dil <laughs> <laughs> Um But yeah, I, I I thought it was good. There was some stuff, especially like. The way I believe, in terms of like how this situation should have been handled and uh, patriotism slash nationalism, that I personally don't like. Sure, but you know, it's not. It wasn't made for me, and right. it was a very different time, right, in India. And so it's you know, Absolutely. I'm not holding that against the film itself. But I, I thought the film was actually quite good. Uh, I thought the the two performance, well, 
these three performances I thought were very good. Yeah, I thought um, the performances were I thought good. he was better in Bombay, I, but he I think he had more to do. I think he had Agreed. more, especially, emotion to carry in Bombay. Uh, I thought she did a fantastic job, though, especially when she was getting all frantic. Uh, I thought she did a good job. her husband as well. Yes. And then I also, I thought, I actually forgot it was him. Oh, really? I did. No. I forgot it was him. Uh, yeah, no, I, I I knew it was him. I mean, I was I was glad to be seeing him, and yeah, um, but yeah, I thought they all did uh, really really well. What didn't you like about it? Uh, several things. I one of the things I didn't mm -hmm. like was the. It's difficult, and we've been I've been able to do it with other films. It's very difficult for me unless something's done well with the direction and the story and the acting to find a couple whose beginnings are an arranged marriage and then become something that you are rooting for them as a couple. I felt like I wasn't with them long enough to root for them and believe that they had genuinely fallen in love with each other. I felt like that needed more time, and I don't know that they had not They had the time to do it, so that was just one thing. And I'm going well, from my least to my largest well, things that I had a problem it, with. But it was, they had only been married a week and then he got abducted. <clears throat> right, so the, the her deep passion for the guy was really difficult for me to swallow after, gotcha. you know, that amount of time. Gotcha. Um, and then there were other things for me, especially the whole scenario about uh, the, the Kashmiri, the terrorist, and the way things were handled. Everything was ex extremely simplistic, maudlin to the point of just overly emotively uh, emotional. And but you very unbelievable in terms of the way the military would respond, the way that terrorist would respond, uh, what actually happens when you catch fire. Um, <laughs> there just were a lot of things that strained credulity for me at a level that I thought, okay, oh, yeah. so if a kid watched this, they might walk away with terrorism's bad, love is good. But for an adult audience, I didn't, uh, for me, I just found it too simplistic and, and not believable. I, I agree in some of your sentiments, but... It was not too dissimilar from how Bombay was, though. Oh, I felt that Bombay was... Uh, Except not, that, I guess, in your, your point that you obviously had much longer, but it was a very different relationship. And, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, as far as that point, obviously, there was more time to get to yeah, know them. Obviously, I know them. Um, and we had more going on with them relationally throughout. But versus... I felt like the, the heightened of the certain events was definitely there, the same as it was here. I didn't see them as simplistic. Mm. I, it was definitely tense situation, mm. but the believability factor of what was going on, even as um, unbelievable we talked about his standing and talking to everybody was in that singular moment, mm -hmm. there was still a level of believability to the moment. The rest of the ancillary activity that had been going on based on actual events, mm -hmm. and I don't know that this is based on an actual event. I have no idea either. Um, I, if stopped, it is, I stopped guessing. Yeah. After uh, Lagan. I mean, obviously, the Kashmiri <laughs> conflict is a real yes. thing, but this story. Yeah, I don't know um, if the story is real. And I, that, if, for example, comparing those two events in history, uh, simplifying this aspect, the, the Kashmiri one, and specifically what I found to be incongruent with my understanding of what terrorists actually do, for example, when terrorists say they're going to cut someone's fingers off after day three, they typically do. Uh, and then they cut the toes off and then they send the body parts around. Yeah. And I didn't see any justification for other than they liked him to not cut his fingers off and send them around. Mm. Um, and I think what he was more trying to do was trying to actually, especially with um, Pankaj, how do you say his name? Pankaj? Yeah, Pankaj. Shahid Kapoor's father. Yes. Um, show a more, even though showing him as a terrorist, showing a more human side to them, showing that they're sometimes, obviously I'm not trying to defend terrorists here, um, but sometimes that they, they are in it because he want, I think he actually wanted independence for Kashmir. Obviously he's deluded in the mind in terms of his views and all that, but I think that was the point. It was that at least his character, he was trying to show that he had more of a human side and he, he actually had at least some good intentions, regardless of, you know, being a murderer and all those, you know, obviously more flaws and good stuff. But I think that was his intent. I understand that there were some obviously very simplistic stuff going on. Like uh, the whole burning flag thing bothered me. Uh, <laughs> I was like, okay, yeah. I, but whatever. That's, that's one of the things I said. It's 
my personal views on that, it, I wasn't really about to put that on the film. I was like, okay, this is cool, patriotism, cool. Right. Uh, <laughs> and and to, make, to make it really clear, when I talk about the situation with Kashmir, I'm not mm -hmm. talking about the history and the complexity yeah. of that. Yeah. I have n no place to talk about that, even though I've researched it a lot. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm silent on that aspect of it. What I am talking about is his example. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a point where they're talking to one another mm -hmm. and he, uh, uh, Pankaj Kapoor, he says at one point, he's just doing jihad for jihad. Yeah. And it doesn't matter who's good or who's bad. I'm just doing jihad for jihad. Uh, and it was it was almost like this, the core drive behind why he's doing what he's doing. I didn't believe that these conversations with the one he was holding captive completely obliterated what he was feeling and changed his worldview that justified the end where he says to him straight out, you've converted me, I'm no longer a terrorist. That for me was like, that's never in a million years gonna happen. Yeah. I. I did love that part. You know, I don't like <laughs> those kind of endings. I was, you know what, you're, you know what I was hoping for? No. I was hoping that as they were running, he was gonna get shot in the freaking head. Yeah, yeah. And I was gonna say, just kidding. Yeah. Um, it's like, like I think I, you guys can tell me your interpretation. I think that's what they were doing, at least with his character, Pan, Pankaj. Uh, his character was they were trying to show a little more human side. Sure. To, uh, the same way I think. Um, Vishal has done before with, uh, uh, I think he's done it in, in, like the villains, at least in the story, they show more, more, more of a human side sure. and show their struggle, not just that they're these big, bad terrorists. I, sure. I do agree. Some of the situations could have been a little more realistic for sure. Um, but especially at the time in India, I knew that I don't think this, the movie would have been made now. I think it would have been made very differently. Um, but obviously Probably. the very patriotic feel of it. Oh yeah. Don't burn the flag of India. Don't <laughs> any of that. It was obviously all very heightened yeah. and I'm sure his moments of Jai Hand. Yes. And yes. I'm sure like, uh, nowadays it would have been made more like Uri. Like, That's exactly what I was saying. I had that exact same thought. Uh, but especially, I think this almost fell victim to the time and it happened in America. It happens all over the place. Sure. It's, sense of you have to be so patriotic for oh. your country. Oh, please. That's what, yeah. That's why I'm saying like, it's not, I wouldn't say to somebody, there's films that I would say if they mentioned the title, I go, yeah, no, yeah, no, this isn't that. No. This is just, I didn't, I didn't really like it. It's too simplistic and modeling for me. But I would say that also about a lot of films that John Wayne made about World War II. Yeah, he was a racist. You know, uh, there was some stuff where you watch those films and you see the bayonets bending as they stab the guys. <laughs> and it's really simplistic and wraps it up in a bow and everybody's funniest, marching in a parade at the end. The funniest, so, the funniest <laughs> part was in the beginning when they had that whole military thing and they had the people spinning on the wires. And they oh, were yeah. For the stunt spinning work. on the wires. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously... It's 1992, a long time ago. Yeah. Uh, they probably didn't have as much money, and obviously the effects stuff, especially in India, weren't where they are now. No, and there were some really nice cinematography moments. Yeah. There were some very pretty, was, pretty moments is, cinematography is this wise. Tamil because it was gorgeous. It was very pretty. There were some moments they framed, especially toward the end. There was a couple of shots where uh, Pankaj is sitting there and he's contemplating. It was around the, the flag burning thing. And they just, they had it really beautifully framed. The one musical number early in the show before the marriages that's done at night mm. uh, in the home village. Uh, and the way everything was really lit by the waterfall. I thought that that was really pretty as was. I was gripped with that, that opening sequence with them fighting with the military coming in. Mm -hmm. um, I just, example, things that strain credulity for me. The terrorist is right there and there's the guy he's holding hostage. And all of the military is there for India, right? To try and rescue the guy. Yeah. They wouldn't have let the wife be there. No, no. Ever. No. And second, they would have sniped him. Yeah. Instantly. They had a clear shot. They're standing there watching the conversation. Rather than have 50 troops there, they would have had one sniper off in the bush and just gone, and it would have been done. So, uh, yeah. yeah. But what did you think about the, the songs, though? I thought the songs were lovely. Yeah. Yeah, I thought uh, the songs were the songs were probably just as some of the best parts of the film. Just as beautiful, I think, as the ones that Aramon did in Bombay. Yeah, uh, agreed. And and they help because we've seen a couple we reacted to. Yeah. It, it, as always, seeing it contextually makes it that much better. I love the 
the, the, the part that I tried to do at the beginning is that, ah, I think it was whenever they were thinking about each other. Uh -huh. I think that, that came on. Yeah. That was a really pretty um, thing that they did, or a song, I don't know if it's a song. And then also the, the it also came on multiple times though. Uh, hey, hey, hey. Well, yeah, they also did, anytime he was running, they had that same theme when he was running that I liked. It was a high energy, it was the male voices going, I don't remember what they were saying. So out of the three, you'd pick Bombay. Bombay would yeah. be the first. That one, two, and then obviously, they'll say, they'll say you would never recommend. Yeah, whereas Bombay for me was like, this is one I would recommend you watch. This is one where I would say, not, I didn't like it. You you can watch it and enjoy it. I don't want to watch it again. Dill say for me is, I <laughs> don't understand the appeal at all. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I I enjoyed this film. I, I would watch it again. Um, I definitely, it felt very similar to me, though in the same way I watched. I, I do think there were more believability things that were a problem in this for sure. Mm -hmm. Than I had in Bombay, mm -hmm. except for the end, which was you know holding hands and singing. Yeah, Bombay, yeah, of course. Both of them had their their issues. Yeah, but I I enjoyed the films as a whole. They definitely have this overwhelming sense, and I I think it was the time in in India uh, about the love stories. Mm -hmm. So even though it's a terrorist story, right? The overwhelming sense of it is that the major part of this film is that it's a love story. So are you telling me right now we're having a review where Corbin Miles is appreciating the love story aspect of it and the fact that it has this model and happy ending and Rick was the one hoping for someone getting shot in the skull? Well, I can I usually adjust when the film starts and I'm like, okay, is this going to be real or is this not going to be real? <laughs> <laughs> And then I, I go from there. I adjust my viewpoint as I'm watching. Because, like, if, like I did with, um, what was that, um, Satya, that it was very realistic. The, pro the problem I had with it was, was the musical songs. numbers in a monster movie. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, okay, it's supposed to be realistic, and you're having. Uh, but you're okay with it in a military movie. Well, the, this, what, like I said, it wasn't very realistic from the beginning. The guys were like, okay, gotcha. Like flip it's it the fact that Satya was an actual realistic Yeah, depiction. it was like more realism. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, so I usually adjust okay. that way. All right, I get you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I understand what you're saying. It's not like. No, I'm not mad at you like I was with um, uh, no. Super Deluxe. And I'm not mad one. at you. Yeah, and I'm not, I'm not saying like you, your point, I really do feel this is another one of those films where it's like some people may like it, some may not, and you really don't But I still have I think, a I point think, to say, well, you're wrong about that. I just, I just disagree. Even though I, I think I enjoyed both of them the same, I still, I, I think I would put Bombay slightly ahead of this one. Okay. And uh, it would be, uh, and then they'll say, they'll say the uh, at the bottom. Even though I, I still enjoyed it, but it's watching all three. It's definitely the weakest mm -hmm. in terms of story. Even though the songs are absolutely gorgeous, yeah. Uh, but in terms of acting and, and all that stuff, it is definitely the weakest. Because I watched that one thinking I was just going in for Shah Rukh Khan right. Fest, right? And that's basically what it was. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, but even but even that, for us, <laughs> the expectations I had for SRK. In that one, yeah, yeah. I think your your expectations for Shah Rukh Khan are higher than mine, though. I think you're right. Yeah, yeah. I do, though. I appreciate him as an actor because of my name is Khan. Has, yeah, yeah, he still has yet to reach that level, and obviously we have yet to see. Oh yeah, a ton of his stuff. Oh yeah, we're not saying we're experts on Shah Rukh Khan. Not at all. You guys are. I know that. It's okay. Don't. You're gonna hate me anyway. That's okay. It's fine. It's fine. I'll block you. Uh, <laughs> Let us know what uh, Tamil film we should watch, and the next film by um, uh, Mini Mani Ratnam. Yes, right. Yep. Uh, what his next film we should watch, and please let me know more. Pankaj. Pankaj. Yeah. I think he's a fantastic actor who we've not yet explored enough. Uh, I know he did that one with Vishal. I think it was the the Blue Umbrella. Uh, we reacted to it long ago. Long ago. Uh, I think it was one of Vishal's earlier works as well. Long ago. Um, but I don't know if that's the next one we should watch. You have guys can let us know uh, down below. And Rick, ready? In unison. The dogs are howling. You hear that? <laughs>